there was an anomaly at the fertilizer plant explosion that uh, there was this little fire going and then there was this thing which came in from the left hand side I'll, I'll show you that again see it forming look at how it, it uh, appears to be two straight lines a straight line here and a straight line there And it gets brighter and hotter until it bursts the whole thing. That the, the flash of it it um, it swamps the the camera. That the the, the camera uh, it's too overexposed to record what happens, and then. Uh, I don't know, it, it does fade back down, and the guy actually, he takes the camera off of the fire, this is what it looks like, a, a second after it was too overexposed. So my speculation on what that is, is that it was, um, it was a, a Tesla howitzer process that was performed by, uh, numerous harp stations harp being able to direct microwave and um, it would seem that they they directed the power of two microwaves into the cloud of smoke that was burning from the the fertilizer plant fire and because the the smoke that's coming off of the fire is explosive they were able to heat it up to where it uh, it ignited yeah I don't know, it reminded me that you can run a truck off of the hydrogen from a wood-burning fire. You burn wood and you filter the the air that's coming off of the fire of the wood, and then you, you route the remnant hydrogen into the engine of the truck. There's actually some guys, uh, I forget what country they live in, but they're overseas somewhere, and they built one of these trucks that runs off of hydrogen from a wood burn. Uh, wood burning fire they put <clears throat> they put their um their wood stove in the back of the truck and they had uh like a filter system that they uh piped the the hydrogen coming off the fire into the truck but um yeah uh if you know about fires if you know really like how fires burn that um like when you burn in wood it's not actually the wood that burns it's the smoke that burns that the um, the wood as it becomes liberated as it becomes smoke the smoke then catches fire and if you get a fire going really hot then there won't be any any smoke escaping from the fire because it, it uh, it'll just be the hydrogen that uh, is um, that is the result of torquing the wood torquing the smoke all the way down but um yeah, I never burnt this uh, ammonium nitrate, which is a, uh, the fertilizer that is uh, considered this fertilizer explosive. But um, I'm just guessing that you know it's got to be the same thing that it is the smoke that is combustible, and if you if you torque the smoke hot enough, then it will it will flame into uh, into a big fire. But um, microwave microwave would be one way that you could make the smoke hot enough and the Tesla howitzer process is uh, is very simply the crossing of two microwaves. So that's why I pointed out the straight lines that uh, that thing was coming in. That uh, it seemed to have been uh, two lines that were uh, trained to a point, so that there was then a superheating of the microwave at that location, which was in the smoke of the ammonium nitrate fertilizer fire. So that seems to be how that was that was done, and um, this one guy he caught it on video, but he didn't bother to record the the flash that was occurring on the left hand side of the screen. See how far out that went. It's kind of hokey.
You know, if you see something flashing up on the left-hand side of a fire, you would think you would pan left and record whatever it was that was coming in. But, um, I don't know, he, uh, he continued to point exactly where he was pointing before his camera. Oh yeah, so the, the point I'm getting at with that is that it seems to have been a staged event. The cameraman seems to have been in on it, and the purpose of recording it was so that it can be driven into the minds of the, the general public how explosive ammonia nitrate fertilizer can be. If you get a massive fire of it going, and then you, you double torque it with some microwave, that you know, it's a it's a pressure wave that you know, it'll it'll knock your soft uh, knock your socks off. Yeah. So um, I don't know. That seems to be the the purpose of this propaganda garbage that they're playing in the media today is more pursuit of outlawing tannerite explosive. That's um, it, it's based on ammonia nitrate. It's it is the mixture of ammonia nitrate and aluminum.